I'll also go ahead and, and address something that, that John was saying, and that is that we're talking about these, this, this fictional organization that could accomplish all these goals, and um, those organizations exist. I mean, it's, it's WBZ, it's the Chi-Town Daily News, it's Gaper's Block, and we're all building the kind of infrastructure to satisfy that mission. So I don't think that there's really necessarily a, a need to create new organizations, although I think the more of them, the better. So it, it, do, do, are these organizations placed well enough that they can, that they can grow into this? Well, I, we certainly are. I don't, I don't know about WBZ, uh, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> No, I, I, I think that, 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 that they clearly are. I, I mean, um, you know, as I've mentioned, I mean, we've got eight full-time employees. We've got a couple of Pulitzer winners on our board. Uh, we're, we're tripling readership every year. Um, I think that, that, you know, as I said, more than, the more the merrier, but I think that, those, that, that, that that organizational structure is in a couple of different places already there. I, I want to I, I direct the panel to this and then we'll get off of this, but this notion that we have to, that we're sort of at this point, these dire straits, where the only thing left is not-for-profit, that we're, we're just going to have to do a not-for-profit thing. Uh, I mean, again, I come out of not-for-profit. It worked really well for me for a lot of years, and I, and I think it has its place. Mm -hmm. But um, I always kind of thought that part of the reason we were successful as a non-for-profit was because we were competing against a bunch of commercial people and we were able to um, place ourselves, frankly, in the public eye as being cooler than all those commercial guys. <laughs> so, I, but I mean, but it's a serious question. Is not-for-profit in and of itself a better a better way of doing journalism? Does journalism thrive more in a not-for-profit environment than it does in a commercial? Not-for-profits have bias, too. And, you know, before we give them too much virtue and for-profit too much villainy, let's remember that part of what makes any great news town is competition between people who are trying to get out a story and beat the other guy. Right, exactly. And that sometimes is driven by the fact that there's profit in circulation or eyeballs or however you measure it. And right now, the not-for-profits, um, I mean, they have their own agendas, they have their own constraints, and they have their own sense of, of what a good story is and what virtue is. And so, yeah, but inf Information is not commodified, and that's one of the problems, that we have commodified information. And information is too important for the good of this country for it to be commodified. But it can be commodified by anyone, and that includes a, a, a virtuous organization that has its own agenda. So I'm not sure that that automatically is is the answer or the model. But you know, competition doesn't go away when you're, when you're a nonprofit. I mean, we compete for audience and eyeballs and in some regards advertising dollars um, with, with every other news organization in the city. Um, and we're drawn um, just as much as any other journalist at any other news organization to, you know, knocking the crap out of the competition. I mean, that's what makes it fun. 